All right, so this is number nine in our Absolute Beginner series for piano. What we're going to be looking at today is how keys work. We talked a little bit about a, sc a short scale, but normally a scale covers all the notes in a key, or maybe just some of them with some plucked out. But what we'll look at is a full C scale that starts at C and goes all the way up until it hits another C, and all the things that we can build with that if we use that scale and our, our chords that we would build on each note in the scale. Um, once you understand this pattern really well, it's really easy to under understand other keys, and you can expand your musical vocabulary very quickly. So again, we'll look at this at how it looks on the keyboard and how it looks on paper. Uh, in this case, we'll look a little bit in sheet music and we'll look a little bit just written out in, in letters. So let's take a look at that. All right, so let's take our C scale and expand it to a full scale. So normally a scale goes from the note it starts on until it hits that note again, okay? Now we only have five fingers, so what we need to do is go one, two, three, four, five, and then when we run out of fingers, we're gonna cross over to our middle finger to play the last three notes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, okay? And we'll do the opposite on the way down. Three, two, one, or one, two, three, cross, one, two, three, four, five, okay? So for our C scale, we go C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and back down. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Now, if you wanted to try that with your right hand, you would do the opposite. You would use three fingers first, then five, and then five, then three on the way down. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Okay? And doing those at the same time can be kind of tricky because the, the hands move at different times. So if you, if you want to practice doing those together, you can do them the opposite to start out with. Say this hand goes up, hand goes down like this and then work up to doing them the same way okay? but that's our, our full scale next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build a chord for every note Now this is really easy to play in C because we just need to go one three five next note one three five next note one three five one three five and keep going. The thing that's tricky at first is knowing the names of these chords. Now we'll talk about why they are what they are later, but for right now we want to remember the names C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor. B diminished, and C major. Try doing that backwards too. C major, B diminished, A minor, G major, F major, E minor, D minor, and C major. And if you want a special challenge, try doing those two things at the same time. Our scale in our left hand and our chords in the right hand. And name them as you go. C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, gonna flip, A minor, B diminished, C major, C major, B diminished, A minor, G major, F major, E minor, D minor, C major. All right, let's, let's take a look at that written out. So our scale for C major is super easy. Just goes right in order, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now if you wanna get ahead of the game, what's good to think about is our whole steps and half steps. This is going to be our template for how our other keys work once we start understanding other keys. That C to D is a whole step, D to E is a whole step, E to F is a half, G to, uh, F to G is a whole, G to A is a whole, A to B is a whole, B to C is a half. So when we look at our other keys, they will all follow this pattern. We'll all go whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. I tell people don't think of things sequentially though. Don't think whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, because it's too easy to get mixed up and lost and, and make mistakes. So rather than think that, think 
from where they're at. Think of coordinates, basically. Think one to two is a whole step. Two to three is a whole step. Three to four is a half step. Four to five is a whole step. Five to six is a whole step. Six to seven is a whole step. Seven to eight is a half step. And if we looked at what the scale would look like on paper, we've got our C down here, right? Because remember, this was G. G, F, E, D, C. Our D would be here. I'm just going to write note heads. No, no actual... Um, rhythm for this. Our E would be here, our F would be here, our G would be here, our A would be here, our B would be here, and our C would be there. So there's our C scale written all out. So it just goes right through the line. No sharps, no flats, nothing crazy. Now if we think about our chords, they all skip, right? So we all go one, three, five every time. So C E, F, G, one, three, five. So our C major chord is C, E, and G, okay? Then our D chord, same thing. If we skip, skip, we get D, F, and A. Then our E minor chord, we get E, G, and B. If we do those skips, always one, three, five. Start it somewhere, one, two, three, four, five. F, we have F, A, and C. So there's our F major chord, G, B, if we kept on going, we'd have a D, G, B, D, there's our G major chord, A minor, A, C, E, if we kept on going, we'd have an E up there, that's our A minor, and then our B diminished chord is B, D, and F. B skipped D, and F, one, three, and five. Now as far as why these are what they are, uh, major and minor. For right now, just try to memorize them and memorize this structure that it's going to have one major, two minor, three minor, four major, five major, six minor, seven diminished. Because you'll see this over and over and over and over again. Okay? And as far as what these look like on paper, that's part of the reason sheet music is written the way it's written, is so you can see these patterns. If we write out a C chord, it would be C on a line, E on a line, G on a line. If we write out a D minor chord, it would be D on a space, F on a space, A on a space. If we do E minor, E on a line, G on a line, B on a line. If we do F major, F on a space, A on a space, C on a space, G major. Uh, or sorry, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah. G on a line. B on a line, D on a line. So there are all these little clusters that you can glance at and go, oh, those are all on the same type of space, basically. Not space like a space here, but same, uh, aesthetically they look the same. Line, 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 space, space, space. Line, 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 space, space, space. Line, line, line. A minor would go space, space, space. And B diminished would go line, line, line. Okay, so it makes them easy to see when you look at them and see, boop, all those all together. All right. So our, our next and final step will be doing this same idea in two more keys and looking at all the patterns we get from that. So see you then.